Read these women's. And I'm joking. And in this is cool. And welcome back to the Windmill Full of Curses. When you tightened your watch too hard. When you tightened your watch too hard. Bleeding wrists. Yes. I don't know if there's any watches that can do that to you, but I'm pretty sure uh, the makers would get sued. Especially in America. Americans will sue you over anything. Yes. Right. So this is changing tides. Bleeding wrists. Playthrough. And we're reacting to changing tides. Bleeding wrists. Playthrough. Because changing tides asked us to. Changing tides are cool. Yes, changing tides are very cool. I agree. Now. Like I said. It's generic deathcore, but very good. It was very, very entertaining. That's it. That's my review. <sighs> He's too close to the screen. Who, the guy yelling? Yes. Yes.
we're, we have the close-up on people's mouths problem again. Yeah, now it was a close-up on the whole face, so it's not as bad. Yes. We don't like close-ups on people's mouths. No, I don't get why people do that in music videos. I mean, he had good teeth, but, you know. Yeah. But we're, we're not a dentist's commercial. No, no, we're not. <laughs> okay. So, mid-tempo for the most part. Because, mm-hmm. you know, at the end it was slow tempo. Yeah. Uh, and lots of drops. It's a sequence of drops. They're not necessarily all breakdowns. It's kind of sitting in a breakdown-like pattern yeah. for most of the runtime. Yeah. And just throwing surprise transitions and drops at you. Yeah, and it's always like he's got, they've got that groove going and then it's like stop, fade in, scream, drop. <laughs> yeah, that, that. and then keep it again and then they cut it like that and the whole song is just like these blocks mm-hmm. connected with those fading scream stuff. Yeah, that's a very frequent pattern. And then just space it out, do the oh, 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 slow stuff, you know, yeah. biting chugs, and drop the breakdown at the end. So there isn't really much that you can say about it that you wouldn't say about Deathcore in general. But for some reason, when we've checked out other underground bands or, you know, just on my own, listen to Deathcore, that's pretty much this pattern. Mm-hmm. I don't find it as satisfying. Like, the, there's a very intuitive element to it. I can't quite pinpoint it. I think I know what it is. What is it? They're very beautiful men. No homo. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. We're not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. I mean, I have many gay friends. Oh, yeah, and like uh, the one shot on the bassist's face that I didn't have a problem with. <laughs> the woo. Yeah, the woo. That also, was brilliant. Ow. Yeah, I love what they did there at the end, like just before the breakdown, because they basically made this more like expansive epic thing and they added some choral background and then they also did the tappy thing. Yeah. So that was guitar. like we're doing everything we did until now, but bigger. Speaking of lead guitar, sick nails, brother. Did you see? Did he have black nails? Yes, I didn't pay attention. Man goes out of his way to go to the, like, nail artist, I don't even know what you call them. Even breaks some sexist stereotypes in the process and I don't even notice it. <laughs> yeah, that's because we're horrible people. Yes, yes, we are. Welcome to the windmill. Are we done here? No. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Corpse is out.